हेलो एंड वेलकम टू क्रिकेट नेक्स्ट मैं हूं सौम्य कपूर एंड टुडे आई हैव अ वेरी 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 स्पेशल गेस्ट विद मी जॉइनिंग मी हियर इन दिस सेगमेंट पारस मामरे इंडियाज फॉर्मर बॉलिंग कोच वेर ही टॉक्स अबाउट हिज टेन योर विद द इंडियन टीम जसप्रीत बुमराह मोहम्मद शामी अर्शदीप द अपकमिंग बॉलर्स एंड मच मोर वेलकम टू क्रिकेट नेक्स पारस सर कैसे हो आप इट इज वेरी वेरी यू नो आई एम डिलाइटेड टू टॉक टू यू सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कैसे हो आप बहुत अच्छा बहुत बढ़िया थैंक यू वेरी मच मुझे शो पे बुलाने के लिए और मेरे से बातचीत करने के लिए सो लुक फॉरवर्ड टू दिस थैंक यू थैंक यू सर स्टार्टिंग विद योर टेन्योर ऑब्वियसली यू हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट योर टेन्योर टेन्योर अ नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स विद अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल तो मैं आपको वहां वो चीज नहीं पूछूंगा बट आई वुड लाइक यू टू सम योर सम अप योर टेन्योर इन वन वर्ड कैसा था इंडियन टीम के साथ आपका टेन्योर सेटिस्फाई आई वुड से दैट दैट्स ऑल because i think as a coach aap ek journey chalu karte ho you start working mm-hmm. on a little journey here the certain goals mm-hmm. you want to achieve you want to it's it's all about sometimes when you have a coach all about what you can add to the team add to yeah. the player what value you can add and if i can always feel ki agar if i move out from the dressing room by just making sure that i've made a one person difference in that team yeah i have I've, i've done my job yeah you know you worked with uh, rahul dravid uh, so you worked with vikram sir you know you guys made uh, your uh, debuts together as well if i'm not mistaken so how has been in that you know that partnership uh, uh wonderful uh how has been that yeah, yeah. Uh, i think i think yeah. in 96 when we played together made that debut on the england tour honestly if you look back and and obviously we have spoken about it we discussed this we never imagined that journey mm. uh, would take us to uh, coaching you know okay obviously yeah. at that point you're playing your focus different focuses are different yeah uh, obviously uh, you know after retirement individually everyone went in different paths and as you say it's destiny that got us together rahul came in he he took over in charge of the junior cricket yeah. got me involved and then obviously vicky was also coaching so Mm. eventually a big circle comes to an end isn't it it's just finishing from playing together coaching together and and obviously moving out on a very high uh yeah. we couldn't couldn't ask for a better end you just mentioned that high sir and you know probably the best uh, movement best way to you know bow out from certain responsibility uh winning a world cup with the team that was you know thriving for it finals pahunch rahe the nahi jeet pa rahe the and eventually that trophy came in so i would like to ask you two things here first when yeah. that you know jab wo last ball hua world cup final ki wo fix ho gaya ki now this the world cup is going home second jab 29 uh, 2023 ka jo odi hum hare wahan se leke yahan tak ki journey how was it if you can just bifurcate these two things i think first point i'll come to it's is yeah. what you what you go through after you winning obviously yeah. at the second when uh, rabada got out you mm-hmm. know when when hardik we dismissed rabada i yeah. think just at the time that's the time uh, you actually felt kind of sinking in now we got got control of this this is ours now we can't go away from here yeah i remember a moment before i think the uh, you know when uh, miller got out yeah. i think at the stage where the where the game was hanging you know 16 yeah. of 6 balls still miller on on with mm. on strike i think that delivery that miller got out it's kind of all that energy sometimes all that stress sucks out you know you felt that yeah. little bit that that a big relief that you had and that's what everyone had in that dressing room a big relief that main yeah. main guy who a little worry for us when yeah. he got out little, kind of that everything sucks out but the yeah. the the last ball actually now take you back to the last ball when actually when you when he finished and when overfield knew that this is ours it just like yeah. everything like all the stress all that happened just something sucks out you know it just makes you yeah. empty and you felt yeah. felt weak and actually that's mm. that's what happened you know talk about emotions yeah. because you carrying this for a long time you carrying this for years now and you know mm. that you're so close uh, you done fabulously well in the tournament to reach the finals yeah knowing that this is this is our 50 50 chance this is 50 chance that we need to take mm. and especially when you really get hold knowing that this is it you know we are world champions i thought yeah. that was fabulous just drained you out you know for me especially yeah. so much of emotions going through it just drained you out for a few few moments you're numb yeah you're celebrating that on the, you could have yeah. seen that on the in the dressing room like everyone yeah. was celebrating it but it just yeah. took a little while to really sink in that you know now this is the world champions so yeah that was mm-hmm. a fabulous moment that uh, none of us will ever forget yeah. taking you back to the to the 50 over world cup is is heartbreaking if you look at the way things were 
again we played yeah. consistent cricket throughout the tournament you know mm. from the very first mm. game we fought our fought got we were challenged we were put into very difficult situation mm. we were into difficult situations we fought out yeah. you know, look at the australia game we were 30 20 15 for three fought our way from there and won that game mm. and 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 other games as well yeah i think that that obviously was you know we had that knowing that we played consistent cricket and then the finals mm. you know obviously mm. knowing that yes we are there we worth while of being mm. in the finals we played quality cricket and we yeah. we everyone in want wanted to win that tournament right wanted to win mm. that cup and especially that didn't happen but also i can tell you it was a heartbreaker that that mm. environment in the dressing room the energy out there you know you could see faces you could see people mm. what it meant to people meant to people for who have been pumping for years you know someone like rohit someone like virat who from 2000 i think virat was in 2011 i don't think yeah. i think yeah he was yeah, 11, he was right? he was there he was there yeah. and it's it's about 13 years that uh, yeah. you know being there not winning mm-hmm. it being there you know final semi finals you know and actually not winning it i thought mm-hmm. i thought uh, it really could see that on the people's faces and and obviously obviously people outside as well all the public yeah. and people who really it meant to i i know it meant for everyone but it it just kind of really the environment was you felt that this is it you know how much mm-hmm. this means to each and every individual and obviously you, you know you work really hard and you don't achieve mm-hmm. what you really eventually want you know it's it's very difficult feeling to fathom sometimes and and but yeah as you said you need to work up think about yeah. it but yeah and from there you know obviously again the world cup t20 going up and down that game coming so close 30 balls 30 ah yeah, it's, it's, it's i was uh, i was, it's was coming to i was circle. coming to that 30 ball 30 yeah. only उस समय yeah. क्या बातचीत थी बिकॉज यू नो अक्सर ने एक इंटरव्यू में बोला कि रोहित केम टू हिम एंड सेड बॉस इट्स ओके दिस एंड यू बोल रियली वेल तो उस समय ड्रेसिंग रूम में क्या बातचीत थी कि थर्टी ऑफ थर्टी बिकॉज यू नो टी ट्वेंटी एज अ गेम एज अ फॉर्मेट इज समथिंग वे यू गेट अ कपल ऑफ डॉट बॉल्स और यू नो अट हेयर एंड देयर ब्रिंग्स यू बैक इन द गेम एज वेल अगर वो छह रन छ पर बॉल पंद्रह पर रन चाहिए तो आपको वापस भी ला सकता है अगर एक आध डॉट बॉल निकल जाता है सो व्हाट वाज द चैट लाइक इन द ड्रेसिंग रूम सो ऑब्वियसली अक्सर का आपने ओवर देखा होगा आई थिंक ओवरऑल ऑब्वियसली जिस तरह से क्लास एंड बैटिंग कर रहा था यू नो करेंटली मैं अभी आई फील करेंटली ही इज वन ऑफ द टॉप टी20 बैटर इन द वर्ल्ड इट्स नंबर 1 आई थिंक नंबर 1 हो सकता है जिस तरह से वो कंसिस्टेंटली बैटिंग कर रहा है एबिलिटी टू प्ले स्पिन एबिलिटी टू प्ले फास्ट यू नो बोथ कंफर्टेबल दोनों के अगेंस्ट है सो वो एक था ऑब्वियसली वाज वन ऑफ द टॉप ऑफ द गेम अगर आप अक्सर का ओवर डिवाइड देखोगे और बॉल बॉल बाय जाओगे कहीं पे वहां पे नहीं लग रहा था कि खराब बॉल खेलते यू नो जो भी उसने शॉट खेले थे ऐसा नहीं लग रहा था कि रूम दिया हाफ वॉली दिया आगे दिया जो भी लेंथ डाला था विच इज डिफिकल्ट लेंथ डाला था उसने मारा था सो ऑब्वियसली बॉलिंग अच्छी ओवर अच्छी की थी और ऐसा भी होता है जैसे रोहित ने ऑब्वियसली ग्राउंड पे बात की उसके साथ यू नो होता है कंसिस्टेंटली अक्सर ने ओवर अच्छे डाले पर अगर अगर हाँ. कोई ऐसा बैट्समैन अच्छे फॉर्म में होता है आप कुछ कर नहीं सकते यू काइंड ऑफ लिमिटेड उस चर्च के आप होप कर सकते हो कि कहीं ना कहीं वो एक बॉल मिस टाइम करे कहीं ऊपर yeah. चला जाए या अच्छा नहीं लगे और बाउंड्री लाइन पे आउट हो जाए वो डिफरेंस वही होता है एक दो यार्ड का डिफरेंस होता है पार चले जाते हैं हाथ में आते हैं हाँ, हाँ. तो हम वही होप कर रहे थे कि अगर नहीं लगा था पर उसने शॉर्ट से अच्छे खेले आई थिंक तीस बॉल तीस पे जब गेम आता है यू नो ऑब्वियसली जब ऐसे आता है यू नो आप आप जिस तरह से दोनों बैट्समैन वहां पे क्लासन है या मिलर है दोनों आपको मालूम है कि गेम थोड़ा उनके पक्ष में तो ड्रेसिंग रूम में ज्यादा है बेहतर होगा ज्यादा फेवर उनके में हमारे में थोड़ा कम था तो होप कर रहे थे कि कहीं ना कहीं क्लासन आउट हो जाए बिकॉज जिस तरह से वो बैटिंग फॉर्म में था हमें मालूम था अगर वो और पंद्रह बॉल खेल रहे थे गेम चले जाता था पंद्रह बीस बॉल का पंद्रह बॉल का गेम था वो चले जाता था जिस तरह से वो बैटिंग कर रहा था उसने इंटेंस वेरी क्लियर थे वो छह ही मारा था जो भी उनके बैट पे लग रहा बल्ला लग, लगा वो बाहर ही जा रहा था ऐसा नहीं कि इधर जा रहा था ग्राउंड पे वो बाहर ही मार रहा था तो हमें मालूम था कि पंद्रह बॉल का गेम अगर वो आउट नहीं हुआ तो गेम काफी चला जाएगा हमारे हाथ से कि एक एंड से हमें क्लासरूम का आउट करना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट था बिकॉज अगर हम एक एंड खोल जाता खुल जाता वो एंड से सब प्रेशर मिलर पे था फिर उसको ही फिनिश करना पड़ता था बिकॉज हमें मालूम था उसके बाद थोड़ा बैटिंग दूसरे एंड से एक एंड ओपन हो जाता उसके बाद यानसन आता है रबाडा था महाराज था और शमसी था सो बैटिंग सात नंबर पे यानसन आ रहा था हमें मालूम था कि एक एंड बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट था वो 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 स्टेज पे और क्लास का विकेट सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट था और जैसे आपने देखा जिस तरह से क्रम से हुआ कि यू नो हार्दिक ने विकेट निकाल दिया बाहर डिलीवरी थी वाइड दिया क्लासम को लग आई थिंक जैसे ऐसे फॉर्म में कोई बैट्समैन होता है तो ऐसा लगता है कि रूम मिला है ये चार है मेरा एंड आई थिंक वो एज था सो आई थिंक वो वो एक लक कभी ना कभी ऐसे मोड मोड पे आप चाहते हो कि अपनी तरफ आ जाए 
और वही लक था जो हमारी तरफ आ गया आई थिंक वो इम्पोर्टेंट वो स्टेज पे इम्पोर्टेंट विकेट मिली हमें बिकॉज उसके बाद हमें मालूम था एक ओवर बूम बूम डालने वाला है अर्ज डालने वाला था सो आई थिंक वो ओवर्स दोनों के थे वहाँ पे हमें मालूम था कि वो बारह सोलह ओवर का गेम है अठारह बॉल का गेम है जो हम कंट्रोल कर सकते बिकॉज हमारे मेन बॉलर्स डालेंगे और फिर हम जितना एंड तक खींच सकते थे खींचा आई थिंक वो जो टारगेट था ऑब्वियसली सोलह रन आप वर्ल्ड कप फाइनल लास्ट छह बॉल में आपको मालूम है कि अगर सोलह रन करने हैं एज अ बैट्समैन आपको मालूम है कि आपकी आप ही के ऊपर है वो रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी आपको ही करना है कभी कभी प्रेशर आ ही जाता है और जैसे हुआ जो फर्स्ट बॉल जैसे चला गया मिलर का लगा नहीं सूर्या का ब्रिलियंट कैच आई थिंक इन जस्ट द गेम एक इट्स अ फिनोमिनल मूवी जैसा था यार ऑनेस्टली आई थिंक छह बारह छह बॉल सोलह रन एक बैट्समैन बैटिंग कर रहा है हीरो जैसे बोलते हैं आप मुझे ही करना है और पहला बॉल जिस तरह से लगा एक एक इनिशियल बिट पे जो कनेक्ट हुआ हमें लगा कि ये चला गया बिकॉज हवा तो लगा रहा था बिकॉज लकी भी ऐसा था कि थोड़ा हवा के डायरेक्शन वहां से अंदर की तरफ था तो उसके कारण थोड़ा बॉल रुक गया सूर्य ने वो ब्रिलियंट कैच लिया राहुल इट वॉज रोहित वन कॉल दैट यू नो गॉट हिम दैट इंस्पिरेशन की ओके लेट्स यू नो कंटिन्यू अट मोर टी ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप तक सो डिड यू गेट एनी काइंड ऑफ कॉल और समथिंग और टेक्स्ट या कुछ उसके बारे में आप कुछ बता सकते हो किसी से ऐसा बात हुआ आपका नहीं आई थॉट जैसे राहुल ऑब्वियसली आफ्टर द वर्ल्ड कप जो फाइनल्स हुए थे एंड राहुल हैड अ चैट विद इंडिविजुअली विद सम ऑफ सपोर्ट स्टाफ ने विक्की से okay. मेरे से बात की थी और विक्की उसने बोला था कि दिस इज दिस इज माय आई थिंक आई एम दिस इज द एंड फॉर मी यहां से आई थिंक आई एम नॉट लुकिंग एट एक्सटेंडिंग और एक आगे बिकॉज़ ऑब्वियसली यू नो आप दो साल इतने इन्वेस्टेड यू बी इन्वेस्टेड फॉर 2 इयर्स यू इन इन दैट So obviously you really everything is completely invested. Obviously didn't mm-hmm. work the way he wanted it. Initial bit the tenure was two years for us individual for everyone was for two year mm-hmm. assignments. And I th- I don't think after the World Cup you know, the way things w- it went for him I thought he just took a lot out of him. You know obviously the so he he told us he mentioned that oh, this is it you know this is it I'm I'm just not looking at extension because I'm I'm happy I just want to go this way. Obviously, uh, uh, with with six months down the line, there was another World Cup which was coming. So obviously, Rohit got mm-hmm. Rohit got in touch because they had a great rapport. I thought uh, with the period, obviously, they played together. Rohit and uh, you know yeah. uh, Rahul. I think Rohit uh, Rahul has been a captain, but Rohit was in the team. Mm-hmm. So obviously, that's had a lot of respect for him. And and over the period last two years, obviously, a great bond. You know, they connected with each other. You know, having I remember a lot of discussions, and 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 I think give credit to both of them. I thought uh, with Rohit as well. because he was invested as well you know mm-hmm. lot of meetings that we were just hung out for dinners and just casual talk about how do we, what we want to do about this team how do you want to take it forward so i think there was a bond out there and i think uh, rohit was also very comfortable with rahul uh, and uh, you know and i think great as you said that he made that call and convinced yeah. him to to just kind of move on for and try for another world cup and just extend mm-hmm. it and change his uh, view but yeah uh, thank thank god it, it was destiny i guess it had to happen some career who is you know someone who's been a legend of this game so yeah. they did cricket and f- uh, kind of having that finale and finishing on such a high i think uh, deserving for both for Rah- uh, rahul and uh, rahul yeah. and rohit as well yeah you know so coming to the coaching bit now you know we have seen ki uh, batsmen ke day offs hote hain break lete hain net sessions se jo practice sessions hote hain you know bowlers lete hain but uh, you know the support staff the uh, side arms they, they they never have a day off so how how much you know physically and mentally this takes a toll ki boss we also need a kind of a break ki kya kya, kya baat hota hai us samay kyunki aapko to field pe rehna hi hai as you said rightly i said as a player aapke paas option hota hai ki aap break lo ya nahi lo you know kabhi kabhi bahut time jaise agar ek tournament mein aap ghus jate ho hota hai तो एक ऑप्शनल जैसे होता है कैप्टन कोच हम डिसाइड करते हैं कि अभी जो प्रैक्टिस सेशन है बिकॉज कभी कभी मैच के बीच में ज्यादा टाइम नहीं रहता सो so ऑब्वियसली yeah. आप स्किल तो टच होते हैं स्किल तो टच यू नो काफी प्रैक्टिस करते रहते हो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होता है ये स्टेज पे आप मेंटली और फिजिकली भी फ्रेश uh, हो सो so, hmm. so तो वही रहती है प्लेयर्स को जितना आप फ्रेश रख सकते हो बिकॉज उनका परफॉर्मेंस और प्रदर्शन बहुत ही अच्छा होता है गेम्स में तो आप यू वर्क ऑन दैट बिनो सो एक ऑप्शनल होता है ऑलवेज प्लेयर्स के लिए कि आपको प्रैक्टिस करना है या नहीं करना है एंड इधर से चैट पे आप डालते हो ग्रुप पे डालते हो कौन आ रहा है पता चलता है कि कोई आ रहा है कोई ऑफ ले रहा है सो जनरली एज अ प्लेयर आपके पास ऑप्शन होता है 
as as a support sir you don't have the option you know kabhi kabhi mm. what happens is obviously in, in a team the 14 15 guys right the 11 playing and four outside who don't get an opportunity in a game yeah. so obviously they want to have a knock in the net they want to mm. practice as well so sometimes the option becomes uh, for the players who played and the others would want to come so so obviously the practice still goes on so for from the support staff point of view and each and every individual that is involved i think you never sometimes don't get a break you hardly get a break uh, mm. to to kind of so so it's tough it, it's it's mentally and physically very tiring is challenging because there's a lot of travel involved you're constantly thinking about the game because as a player you just focus you know you're just focusing on your skill many a times and as a player as a bowler you're focusing on just how you want to deliver how you got a ball uh if you're part of a bowling if you're part of a support staff especially batting bowling or rahul sometimes thing it's all about the team right it's all about the whole you know completely you're looking after the team itself and the thought process is how do how do we get this right you know, in terms of this tournament is there this game is there what are the things that we need to do obviously a lot of discussions the analyst comes in you sit with the analyst saying that, okay friend these are the opponents from the bowling perspective what are the batsmen are we looking at what you know so constantly planning mm-hmm. keeps going on so you mentally kind of involved all the time so there's nothing there no time where you can go back to the room and say you switched off yeah. so it's challenging yeah but uh, as you said it's rewarding as well you know so, yeah. so yeah it's it's both ways yeah when that elusive trophy comes into the cabinet it, it you know wo sab pura ho jata hai sara wo person boss when you when you hold that mm-hmm. when you hold that trophy you I, that feeling you'll never forget boss i i yeah. i mai kabhi nahi bhul sakta wo jo aap pakadte ho jo trophy hai itne saalon se aap chahte ho jo tv pe dekh rahe hain ki log pakad rahe hain aur jeet rahe ho jo jo euphoria dekh rahe ho happiness dikh raha hai logo ke tabhi pata chalta hai ki kya feel hota hai i think wo kabhi aap bhul nahi sakte true so coming to to a certain you know uh, talking to certain players like we saw you spent a lot of time with shreyas ahead of the sri lanka game and then he went all guns blazing so ye kya baat cheet hota hai player ke sath ya kya ek ek, ek right frame of mind mein rakhne ke liye ek coaching staff as as a support staff kya uh, baat cheet hoti hai ek individual player se i think one one very clear i think conversations kafi time se chalte hain i think wo wo time pe to i think as a game aap to khula chhodte ho jyada you don't really confuse people so much the conversations bahut pehle se baat ho chuki thi ki kya ek to hota hai ki aap team jab aap when you take over a team jaise rahul ne ya when we took over a team ek team ki philosophy hoti hai ki aap team kya karna chahti hai you know hmm. aage ja ke kya brand of cricket khelna chahti hai aap kya karna chahte ho kis tarah se ye game approach karna chahte ho you know ek ek kind of aap ek every individual ka you set you discuss karte ho and and you come to a team philosophy because this is what we want to this is how we going to go ahead and play knowing the knowing knowing very clearly that with such a format i think there going to be also uh, you know there be chances that this will not come through in some of the games right mm. and it's this purely the format because you have to play a certain in a certain way you have to try and put up a score if you're batting first or defend you know sometimes you're defending big scores so you know that you'll have to keep attacking you're going to lose wickets so it may not come through to be able to accept the fact that yes it, it may not come through in one of the games so one two couple of games that's fine but we will still keep will not remove the uh, what do you say the uh, foot of the pedal and this will be this is we keep going ahead that's it we are going to mm. keep trying it accept it yes what are the areas look back and say okay friend have it gone your way where at what point it hasn't gone in your favor or what is that you can do differently in the other game and i think mm. the discussion all about that and when you give a individual a clarity obviously a lot of discussion goes on one on one with the player itself you know yeah as a team you have one but there are 11 individuals in a team when you on the field mm-hmm. and everyone has to play his part knowing the fact that out of 11 not 11 will be successful they'll have a couple of them will have an off day but yeah. whoever ha- having a good day very well make sure that you you win that you know you take it through so i think that's that's kind of a discussion that you have mm-hmm. also the fact is equally important having the captain on board knowing that captain is backing you and in mm. case it doesn't go that way in case uh, you need to take a risk and you okay mm. with it. if the captain says we will back you if your head coach says rahul and say fine even that doesn't come through we will back you i think once you have the team backing the management backing you and showing that i may not so as a player you always have worry that if it doesn't come through will i be playing the next game if that mm. kind of uh, sword hangs on your head 
you're never going to yeah. perform. You're never going to play fearlessly. That's what you've seen, right? So the conversation mm. with every individual, maybe Shreyas or whatever, is all that about mm. going ahead and expressing yourself. You, you hear a lot of term people saying, you know, I'm just going to go and express myself. I think it's just the fact that expressing is playing your game, the way that mm. you know this game. And you just going to go and execute your plan. That is what is really I mean, I, I mean by executing. And if you have, if you go in and play that ex- with that game fearlessly, knowing that I have got my team backing, mm. and it comes through. So the conversation is more about that. It happens a lot before, but yeah, having that security in the dressing room as a player is so important. And I think that's where everyone as a support staff we have a big role to play to create that environment and team room where it's a happy team room and people are backing each other and no criticism hmm. at all. So does that also, you know, कहीं ना कहीं ये भी एक impact होता है कि जैसे you have been people come uh, like the players are coming from you know under 19s, the NCA, then the India A and you have been together. So कहीं ना कहीं एक trust factor भी आ जाता है in both the parties कि बस whatever the uh, the the other person is saying is probably right. Yeah, I think the most important bit that the time you need to spend with the individual is it's to create that bond, create a trust. Uh, I think that's that's where most of the time. Yes, at at some point or the other, being part of the NCA for me, I have had some kind of association with the player. You know, somewhere or the line, they're part of the system. They've been to the NCA from the under 19s or India. So you interacted a lot. I think from the interaction, obviously, uh, there is a lot of there's a bond that is being created that gets created, and it's all about trust. And for me, it's it's that I spend a lot of time with an individual. knowing that individual in and out kind of what because everyone comes to a different background right you come in a mm. different t- team environment it's just sometimes you assume that he might be in a great space but he may not be mm. there's certain issue that he is going through that a certain baggage yeah. that he carrying in the team uh, in in the dressing yeah. room will not which will not help him which is not great for him and then obviously for the team as well so obviously you yeah. go back and spend a lot of time discussing creating that trust and i think once you have that bond once you have that trust so whatever this is maybe some as as a coach you'll have to have a tough call you have to have to uh, uh, talk with one of the bowlers or players whatever you'll have to have that at some point or the other mm. but as, if if a player knows that the 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 reason why a certain thing is spoken or discussed with the intent behind it i think that there's no issue then uh, so he knows it's for for the player himself the betterment of the player and obviously in that uh, the la- larger picture is for the team being successful So I think once you have that trust, create that trust. I think the conversations are easier. Yeah, sir, so you have been repeatedly t- uh, talked about. It's it's lesser about the technical thing because obviously, us level pe jo player khel raha hai, wo technically thoda tweak idhar udhar karna padta hai jab wo form kara hua hai ya problem hai. Yeah, it's yeah. more about the mental thing ki uh, back of the mind kya chal raha hai. Let's suppose you know picking up an example of Kuldeep. So after mm. a rough patch, he made a comeback and what a phenomenal comeback. So, yeah. how do you guys manage that? Because, मतलब, what kind of confidence do you, you know, what kind of interaction do you have with the players who is coming from that kind of a rough patch? Okay, so obviously, when you look back, is when you have someone like player like Kuldeep comes in, he had a pretty much kind of a successful stint prior to to maybe initial bit of his career, and then obviously, with things weren't working away, others came in, and you know, someone like Uzi or other guys came in, and you know, were doing better. So obviously, he was mm-hmm. uh, you know moved out from that dressing room, right? so once for, first and foremost you need to understand is one is where is kuldeep in terms of his strengths mm. and the area that he needs to work on i think that a lot of work that goes that's where your analyst comes in and um, hari was uh, a great help you know with for us mm. for me especially this this stint with i did with the team great help guys who a little bit understanding of cricket he plays a little bit league cricket in Ch- uh, chennai is played so understands mm. cricket as well so great help from him so that's why you come sit with him obviously you work with a technical bit to fi- yeah. find one is is there can we tweak a little bit and will that doing mm. in that period will help him or not uh, yeah. so that's one so once the other then it's a lot of conversations with the individual that you have of what where he is right now in terms of the mental space fitness is a other parameter that we need to address mm. is he carrying an injury or not uh, you know is he dragging it through do we need to sort that so that two or three things that In a triangle that you look into it, three points. Mm. You cover those three points, and you take start taking it one by one. So mm. f- maybe first, maybe little with Kuldeep, especially when he came in. Obviously, if you see, uh, I I could realize that he wasn't really getting what he wanted out of his bowling. Right? You know, obviously he was trying certain things. He wasn't uh, being successful. So as a bowler, you try certain things, and if it doesn't come through, 
there's a lot of frustration there you know you really challenging yourself a lot of frustration there so obviously one was worked a little bit of tweak as you said little tweak in his uh, technical bit just if you compare it and just just for the sake we're chatting about it if you look at kuldeep two and a half years back and you could be mm. now you just check the angle of run up you know just change a little bit mm. of the angle of run up got him a little straighter so that yeah. allowed him to to what helped him was with the lines lengths and the speeds if you look at mm. kuldeep right now is much quicker so obviously when you are quicker yeah. in the air and you get lot after after the ball uh, you know uh, after, when he delivers a the ball there lot spin into it and just comes off of the wicket surface very quickly so i think mm. that helped him as well so that was one and just have that conversation just just keep in making sure that mm. that's where you need to spend time in individual to understand mm. what is kuldeep expectation from me that's ex- mm. equally important i have a certain plan in my mind i need yeah. to understand kuldeep what does he expect out of me right and as long mm. as the conversation that's why you have that conversation with him saying that okay fine this is what kuldeep needs and this is what mm. every individual needs so i need mm. to have those conversation in the way that which help benefit kuldeep I think mm. that's what time that you spend off the ground, off the uh, uh, of the field, a lot more, uh, just to have that, just not a very serious discussion as well. Maybe coffee or maybe breakfast mm. you can sometimes meet, and just have one, just just discuss one point, maybe just casually. But that is for my knowing that I I need to go back and this is what is Kuldeep yeah. thinking, this is what is frame of mind. When I address that problem, when it, in future when it comes, I know this is the way I need to handle Kuldeep. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's what happens. <laughs> this is about a, a player who probably had a rough patch or an off day but you know in your tenure there have been players who have come from a kind of a, a career threatening injuries who have made a comeback so have you ever sensed kind of insecurities you know among themselves ki boss you know aaj khel liye next time kya hone wala something of that sort kabhi aisa insecure insecurity ka feeling aapko laga hai kisi se baat karte hue see insecurity dikhegi nahi you know aap aap koi bhi banda ke koi player ke baat nahi karega aise बट यू हैव सेंस इट बिकॉज आप अगर इतना टाइम अगर इंडिविजुअल के साथ आप स्पेंड करते हो तो पता चलता है कि उसके बॉडी लैंग्वेज से उसके बात से वो किस तरह से वर्ड कौन से वर्ड्स यूज कर रहा है अगर एक प्लेयर यूज कर रहा है अगर आप जितना टाइम उसके साथ स्पेंड करते हो तो आपको पता चलता है कि ये ये अक्सर अक्सर अगर ये बुमरा बात कर रहे हैं ये बुमरा के अगर कोई वर्ड या किस डायरेक्शन में कॉन्वर्सेशन लीड हो रहा है तो उसका थॉट प्रोसेस पता चलता है सो so, उसके लिए आपको टाइम उसके लिए बिताना पड़ता है इंडिविजुअल के तो अंडरस्टैंड के लिए कि ये कहाँ से मैं पिक कर सकता हूँ कुछ और कहाँ पे ये लीड के लीड ये कॉन्वर्सेशन लीड हो रहा है सो सो होगा आई थिंक वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट कंसर्न हमारे लिए था ऑब्वियसली इंडिविजुअल के था बुमराह के लिए था जब बुमराह की जो इंजरी हुई थी ऑब्वियसली एक सीरीज में हुआ था वो मैच में मैच के पहले बॉलिंग कर रहा था और मैच के बोलिंग जब हुआ था साउथ अफ्रीका आई थिंक वो साउथ अफ्रीका की सीरीज थी आई थिंक वाइजैग में थी शायद ऐसा कहां था उधर वाइजैग में इधर किधर थी तो बोलिंग कर रहा था मैच के पहले ही फेल्ट अ लिटिल जर्क पैड फीट में सो ऑबवियसली फिजियोस थे वहां पे उन्होंने लगा कि मे बी इट्स अ बेस्ट थिंग कि मे बी एक एक दो मैच ब्रेक ले लो और फिर बाकी के सीजन वो अवेलेबल होगा हम्म वैसा हुआ नहीं आई थॉट इंजरी लॉट मोर सीरियस थी जैसे जैसे बाकी के लग रहा था फिजियो के एनालाइज करने के बाद लगा कि थोड़ा ज्यादा सीरियस था so he'll be off hmm. for a while and then you realize your back issue tha uska you know it became and hmm. then led to thoda point and then the operation so kahi na kahi as a player wo concern hota hi hai agar aap i can imagine put yourself bumrah ki jagah aap dal sakte ho you hmm. know peak of your career right now aapke paas kafi 6 saal 7 international cricket ke khelne ke hai yeah. aapke mann mein aapko uncertainty as a back i can understand kabhi hmm. kabhi ankle hota hai to you're not so much worried agar knee hota hmm. hai not so much worried par ek back aisi yeah. cheez hai because everything is bowling bowling ke back pe related yeah. hota hai agar wo concern aapke paas hota hai ki are main ye injury se ubar sakta hu ki nahi ho you know hmm. ek 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 career threatening injury thi uske liye yeah. uh, so aap aap jo conversations uske sath karte ho obviously follow up hota hai as a, as an outsider obviously it's everything about physio yahan pe le lega first and foremost the doctors lete hain medical staff physios take over and then your fitness comes in aur aap hote as as a skill aap thoda hmm. peeche hote आप hmm. यही कर सकते हो कि हैव दैट कन्वर्सेशन विद हिम कभी ना कभी फोन उठा के यार बूम क्या चल रहा है या कोई भी प्लेयर hmm. के बारे में उससे आप बात कर सकते हो hmm. कि कैसे हाल है क्या चल रहा है एक ही होता है कि आप कर सकते हो उसको लगना चाहिए कि ही इज बीइंग रिमेंबर्ड उसको हम ऐसे नहीं कि हम जस्ट टीम में आया इसके लिए कि हम याद करेंगे व्हाटएवर सो so, एक पर्सनल रिलेशन आप होता है और वो द पीरियड एक एक रिलेशन बन जाता है प्लेयर के साथ और एक ऑनेस्ट ऑनेस्ट रिलेशन बन जाता है सो प्लेयर को जस्ट आप करते जस्ट बी इन टच सेइंग दैट यार यू नो क्या चल रहा है हालचाल कैसी है and we hmm. consistently deal that with not in bumrah ke sath nahi every other player ke sath we done it you 
you know agar wo if gone to one, maybe a little niggle also ho agar wo nca yeah. chala gaya hai to each one of everyone individually i think uh, rohit has done it rahul has done it i have done it just call up and say mm-hmm. you know find out just through the medical staff and the player find mm-hmm. out ki kya ho raha hai kya nahi ho raha hai kitna time frame hai i'll see you soon you know? yeah. that's it making sure that he's he's knowing that he's not people are not forgotten there bahut difficult hota hai wo face pe when you know lonely you don't want the player to be lonely and that's what the mm-hmm. whole thing we felt there yeah you, know, you just mentioned bumrah's example but what is that one thing that makes him so special because you have the best seat and fast for past for 10 12 18 months you have seen him from the very close quarters your injuries to you know uh, bowling those spells in in the world cups and winning it for india what what is what it is that that makes him so so special skill wise freak i think freak no, no. he's a freak seriously man Any other thing you 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 know, 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 talk about mm-hmm. as a a a bowler, you know, just looking at it, technical, so, run up hona chahiye, fast bowler needs a run up, you know, take that mm-hmm. momentum through, uh, you know, go through mm-hmm. the pace quicker. But if you look at boom right now, uh, mm-hmm. pretty much just walks in, doesn't mm-hmm. even run, you know, mm-hmm. just the way he releases the ball, just walks in four or five steps. Obviously now his little uh, length and his run up is then it doesn't make a difference. If you ask him to bowl for four steps, also he'll be as quick as what he's doing yeah. right now. <laughs> But just a natural ability, right? Out here, mm-hmm. unlike any other fast bowler, the way he releases. If you look at just the way he releases, he's a good twenty centimeter ahead of any other bowler in the world. Freak mm-hmm. the pointer. So mm-hmm. obviously distance is covered. Uh, a mm-hmm. normal bowler will be kind of on in line with the crease. Bumra releases yeah. from here. Yeah. You just you gained out there. a uh, hyper extension is other thing you know so uh, basically it's just a freak yeah man he just just born that way and i think yeah. uh, bit bits obviously you're born with a skill but mm. damn he's worked hard for it man is is mm. gone through the ranji trophy the base by bowling so much played a lot of first class cricket he's created mm. the base he's gone through tough phase he's tested his body again and again and he's gone through seasons without injury so obviously gained his own the skills there master mm. the skill there and uh, and over the period with the experience that he has is just the intelligence we look at the way he bowls he bowls the right ball at the right time so so he yeah. thinks about the game right he's not a just a run in bowler who just comes mm. in and just bowl he's a thinking bowler and i think yeah. i i pers- uh, that's one thing i believe that a greatness of a cricketer is always in his head and and in that's his where his strength is he thinks about his game he analyzes the batsman and he bowls senses it you know as a bowler you sense sometimes ki as this is what a batsman is going to do and this is the ball he's expecting he just don't bowl that ball yeah so that that's boom for you okay okay you know this is boom but we also have a mama shami who is right, right now injured coming back to you know he's now getting back to the practice and all what is that one thing ki ye jo combination hai do do bowlers ka in do fast bowlers ka that you know that is lethal ये मैं तीन तीन चीजों में बाइफाइकेट करूंगा फर्स्ट देर कॉम्बिनेशन सेकंड मोहम्मद शामी को क्या वो चीज है जो स्पेशल बनाती है थर्ड बिकॉज यू नो ही इज आल्सो गेटिंग ओल्ड नाउ थोड़ा सा एज का फैक्टर है तो डू यू थिंक शामी शुड यू नो ऑप्ट फॉर फॉर अ सर्टेन फॉर्मेट टू प्रोलॉन्ग दैट करियर सो थ्री थ्री पार्ट सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट कॉम्बिनेशन आई थिंक द मोस्ट लिथल कॉम्बिनेशन कैन एवर गेट टू डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ बोलर्स you know obviously yeah. boom is something different delhi is something different yeah. shami is a unique ability to land the balls mm. up seam upright consistently mm. and i think that's mm. where his strength is you know because if it's so upright mm. it doesn't know that it goes in or comes in or goes out as a batsman mm. and you struggling ability plus you add pace so in terms of combination both are unique both are different but both are equally import, uh, effective mm. you know very different ways of approaching but when you have kind of a variety like this uh, you know mm. as a batsman you keep you're going to keep guessing yeah? you have someone like bumra who, who comes in the short run does this bowls slow run yorker consistently hit the leg you have someone like shami from the other end then you can't get away from either if both of them bowling together right both are challenge yeah. going to challenge you all the time you know? so as a batsman you're going to be challenged each and every delivery right so that's the combination uh, what was the second point you mentioned in terms of uh, uh, was it in Third terms of fitness, uh, right? that you know what yeah what what does he, what, what it is that makes him so special shami specifically and should he because because of the age should he opt for a certain yeah. uh, format so, yeah so so as i said in terms of if you look at the way he releases the ball and, and it's, yeah. it's pretty much upright here i haven't seen and i haven't seen many bowlers in the world who land that seem that upright 
each and every mm. time if it's pretty much pretty upright scene right <laughs> ability does he has the ability to do it okay yeah. and and that's unique the last time i had seen someone doing it is as good as was as good as him was maybe shrishant in indian cricket mm. i don't think anyone had that ability to really have a upright scene very rare you don't see that really upright scene yeah. and that that creates the doubt right you upright scene ball comes in or goes out you don't know and you so keep challenging yeah. so that's a unique ability and that's that you born with i think that's a gift that you have uh if mm. if that would be that a, any other ball in the world would be doing the same thing would be able to do the same thing mm. after playing so much of cricket you can't do that so you're gifted that way yeah the third bit is obviously uh, i i feel that you need to have that conversation with chami uh, and mm. his he needs to decide and have that real honest conversation what does he want to do mm. you know obviously and mm. you have to give him that choice talk to him say mm. that okay fine lala we call him fondly lala so lala what is that thing you want right uh, mm. what is your plan you know what where do you look at obviously you have your trainers come fitness uh, star SN, snc guys coming and your doctors coming in and they should be on board saying that okay and what mm. first and foremost where do you look at do you want to play what mm. format do you want to play you want to play wide mm. you want to play red you want to play all and and just kind of have a conversation a very honest conversation saying like okay fine you you're looking at maybe 2 3 4 years whatever you're mm. at your peak maybe let's look at 2 years from now what amount, what is the amount of cricket that is there going ahead for india have that conversation with the okay fine with white ball and red ball this is the amount of bowl, uh, games that we have this is the amount of bowling you'll have to do if you cut down maybe one format this is it if you cut down either focus on only one format this is what it is maybe red ball the choice is his you know you want to give him that choice and then create a path sitting with him on on board and then making that path i think the decision has to be taken by shami having that conversation and then you kind of then creating that path but have that conversation you may sometimes have to challenge him as well uh, saying that he may have a certain format in mind or he may feel as a player i feel i can three, i can play all three format but you got also have to take a realistic call saying is it really beneficial is it how how valuable you are for the team and that chami half is a valuable uh, player for the team right we need to make sure that he is there for the next 3 4 years so the purpose of if we can have him for the next 3 years and how do we create that path for him so have that conversation with him that's the only way it's a unique skill uh, not many have that in, in the world forget the country yeah so so i would i would i would make sure that both mm-hmm. of them bumra and shami would mm-hmm. be around for as long as they can and do whatever mm-hmm. is required coming to the young young generations or young crop you know what would be the road map uh, from now on agle 10 12 mahine kya road map rehna chahiye indian bowling ka second do you feel arshdeep is kind of ready for the red ball to you know to just have him around a red ball circuit and also about the spin twins you know it's still time jadeja and ashwin as and whenever they you know uh, uh, decide to bow out of the game whom do you think can come in as a replacement probably for them or can be the backup in the domestic circuit so so road map is i think it's it's all about the uh, new stuff i think the support staff should have a chat and that their call mm. on how they want to take this team forward mm. we had a certain road map we had a certain plans i'm sure the other guys who come in recently will have a role have a discuss so i think i leave that up to them completely i think that's yeah. their call on how they want to take this forward for the next 2 3 years whatever uh in terms of uh, the other point was arsh right we're discussing arsh arsh yeah yeah Arshdeep. so so in t- yeah i think the idea was to to make sure obviously arsh plays a lot of first class cricket i think with the red ball especially yes he is he's really honed his skills with white ball if you look at the way he goes about t20 format is fabulous one day cricket as well he started playing one day cricket he showed in south africa that he played he picked up a five for a, i think he's, he's done so you could see that with the white ball you know he's effective hmm. obviously the challenge is sometimes now taking it forward to the red ball uh i think that was the idea for us to make sure that in between when he was not part of the white ball team he was not he was given a break made sure that uh, when the test cricket was going on we make sure that he played ranchi trophy and i think that's mm. where you really get better you challenge yourself yeah. and mentally physically we are going through your bowling you lot more bowling you're doing it and the more you bowl you have a lot you can get a lot of control so the so idea was to make sure that he plays ranchi trophy has that has that uh, stint in the in the county also helped him yeah so i was coming to that so when yeah. we had this thing red ball going in and when the mm. county approach i think that's mm. where we are you know obviously rahul was also on par with this and on on say yeah. okay fine need to play uh, county cricket 
go through mm. that experience because it's challenging county cricket is challenging right yeah. you're playing four days you take you driving from one to the anu to go to two days break you're playing a game and you're playing so it's yeah. constant travel bowling so you're challenged you're physically also you're challenged you're mentally also you're challenged and mm. you have as a pro uh, a lot of uh, you know i i played i played a lot of club cricket in england so obviously mm. i know that as a complete as a pro if all yours you know so you have a lot of mm. responsibility expect you to pick wickets expect to win matches mm. so that added responsibility always on the pro because everyone looking at the pro so obviously you have to be on top of a game you can't be a par at below par in any of the game so you have to keep pushing yourself right i think mm. that stint also has helped him because he's come mm. a very different bowler so he's confident now obviously obviously ability to have that control white ball was there but if you look at uh, uh, Arshdeep's graph after he had mm. the county stint with the white ball as well is gone up. Yeah. So that definitely has helped him uh, for yeah. that stint as well. Yeah. Yeah. And coming to the spin twins, as I said, you know, do you do you have you you know, because baat hoti hai, you guys also have a close keep a close watch on the domestic circuit as well. So as and when these two Jadeja and uh, Ashwin decide to you know move on, uh, do you think any who who are those players whom uh, you do you think can come in? Oh, I think it's a big, big challenge. Who department before us? Yeah, really. Ah, uh, Ash ko or Jaddu ko kaise replace kare? Wo bada koi question rahega. I don't know. Agar replace kar so kogi, Vizu Viz replace kar so kogi, apko replacement milega. Mujhe cutting lag raha hai. In the near, just because apko jo bhi, jo bhi, uh, jo bhi banda next aata hai, usko apko thoda time definitely time dena hi padega. You know, apko usko time dena padega. There'll be a, there'll be a time. There'll be a plateau. There'll be a time. There'll be a dip. Uske career mein. And then they'll see. But you have to see which players are from that players. So obviously, you have scouts and selectors who are watching the match. You know, those are the guys actually are very helpful in the last bit. They have been helpful. A couple of, lot of these guys who are watching the match, they've gone out and suggestions come from them. So, so that will happen. They have to come from them. It's tough. Hai. It's going to be, I yeah. don't see. Straight away, you can honestly say that uh, yeah. Ash's replacement is available for Jaddu. Ka hai. You know, mm-hmm. Jaddu, ka, I would say to a certain extent, hai, depending on your yeah. surface, pe, because you have Akshar. At least, that mm-hmm. department is a covered hai, because Akshar has played a cricket, he has red ball, he has played a lot successful. Mm-hmm. Hai. So, you have a little stroke, if there is an injury for Jaddu, then you have a replacement backup, for Akshar. You have a backup, yeah. Definitely. Hai. But let's, Ash, let's just hope I they don't, don't, yeah, they don't uh, take a lap. call so, on Sal, this. I, I, I hope, uh, I hope, uh, Next two years, they they play red ball cricket. Ash, mm. Ash, I know Ash. Ash at one stage you'll have to. Obviously, he's also so. There's a lot of wear and tear gone through in his yeah. career. So obviously, you know you'll have as you said conversations with them and creating mm. a road path, sitting with them, saying okay, okay, fan Ash, mm. how do we take this forward? You know. So you have in a time frame knowing that what Ash mm. wants to do. Maybe Ash wants to play mm. one year. Ash wants to play two years. Save it, Jadu. Yeah. And then make sure that if you have two years, you. Uh, so obviously, uh, having a chat with him, knowing that what mm. Ash wants to do, maybe one year, two years. So you don't have two years with Ash. Mm. So obviously, you, then you need to find someone who is maybe not as good. Obviously, uh, if he'll have a lot of talent out there, mm. feel he's good enough to 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 kind of uh, move uh, to the next level. Mm. Sit with him and kind of make sure that he's around with Ash. Have that conversation, with Ash, and making sure that whoever you're focusing on, build on, have that trust. Mm. Spends a lot mm. of time with Ash. You know, get him and drop him as a maybe not be 15, but maybe 16 addition in the team room. Spends a lot of time in the team, understanding how how Ash goes about his trade, what does he think, what mm. his thought process is during a game, to be able to interact in a between a session, saying that okay, fine, you bowled a certain way, why did you bowl a certain way? That can't mm. that cannot be a better learning than that. So so look at investing. You have certain bowlers you feel I want to do it, do that. Yeah. But yeah, you'll have to go a couple of years to do it. So give yeah. that young rookie a time to spend time with the individual and, and get better. You know, coming to the format, which is now seeing a lot of changes, the T20I yeah. format. You know, yeah. how you, you have seen these boys becoming, you know, getting that that kind of a domination at the highest level. Yeah. How yeah. do you see this change coming, like Surya getting the captaincy, you know, Kauti now coming in as the head coach. And that, you know, that thing, Hardik uh, was the captain was the captain when when rohit wasn't around you know in the t20 as but now he's he'll be playing just as a as an all rounder in that format so mm. how do you see these things and uh, how would be the uh, dressing room at, atmosphere environment in these new changes and challenges 
I think I'm sure when you have, uh, when I'm assuming everyone has a conversation with an individual that you mentioned, I'm sure the new staff has had a conversation already at the head coach, yeah. must have had a conversation with them and kept maybe the selector head, uh, chairman of the selector, have kept them in the loop, you know, saying yeah. that this is the way forward. I think no decision is just taken randomly. I don't think uh, just going to randomly decide that we're going to do it. So you have that conversation with individuals. I'm sure they've had that conversation with them and and created why and also discuss why they have that discussion right why they have that made that change so i think if if both the parties on board both the parties are aware why a certain decision i don't think uh, should make any change the, the environment shouldn't change because you know you have already have that conversation but as far yeah. as road plan is concerned i thought uh, you know these guys the, the new staff has to decide to drive this with with obviously with surya for the t20 format mm. uh, hardik obviously and have that discussion where what is their future right in terms of mm. where do they see this team going forward and where do they fit in as you said the conversations already on uh yeah, yeah so i think uh, you know that's that's the way i feel that i'm sure they must have done it and knowing knowing ajit and knowing the uh, knowing more ajit i've not uh, worked a lot with uh, gautam in that sense but mm. knowing ajit i know his approach so he must have had that conversation already with individually with everyone and yeah. uh, i don't see because eventually i always feel it's a, any any decision that you take are the interest of the team so as long as the team comes first i think a player understands that mm. and uh, and i don't think that should be any issues in the dressing room yeah and shumun as the vice captain you know getting that uh, that kind of a responsibility now lovely what are you i'm very happy to see the way he went about with gt the way he went about little bit of whatever cricket i've seen captaincy i've seen little bit mm. uh, you know exciting talent uh as you said i've always feel this is a three format talent that you have available out there uh he's been successful in all three formats so yeah young kid you know has a lot of cricket left in him great work ethics you know if you just yeah. look at the way he's gone about i've seen him from under 19 years and just the progression that he's had in last few years and being at actually at top of the game from being a white ball player to a opening form opener you know to red ball mm. being successful having a successful stint as far as test cricket is concerned so i brilliant i'm look forward to it i think is nice i think the more he you know it gets involved in uh, you see him growing as a player and i'm, I'm sure uh, you'd see him also growing as a captain yeah okay okay sir last two questions uh, uh, first with rahul dravid sir being around wo jo yeah. bonding hai the way we saw him you know letting go of that uh, a uh, prize money uh, and keep it same as a support staff you remember those things right how like what is that bonding what is that friendship can you just talk to me about that like wo ek hota na ek unfiltered kind of a friendship ka jo ek ek wo hai wo bataiye i think mera i think ek, ek ye to abhi hua hai world cup ke jo ye similarly under 19 ke time hua tha so aap okay. aapko yeah. usko uske liye aapko rahul as an individual aapko thoda yeah. dhyan dena padega I think obviously yeah. as an individual very simple guy, बहुत simple बंदा है, you know, yeah. uh, you know कोई air नहीं है, इतने साल one of the yeah. legends of the game in uh, obviously India में तो one of the legends of the game so worldwide I think one of yeah. the he's a legend of the game right so yeah. आप अगर उससे आप जो भी conversation करोगे कहीं ना कहीं cricket के बारे में खुद का आता नहीं है you know खुद के बारे में it's all conversation about team yeah. all of उनके बंदे player के बारे में कैसा so loves to be on the, in the background main kabhi aage aap dekhoge nahi rahul ko kabhi aage nahi dekhoge always in the background dekhoge wo ek nature hai uska you know wo hmm. or i think uh, ye under 19 ke time bhi hua tha i, I remember similar yeah. prize this no hua tha similarly he said so speaks a lot yeah. wo bande ke bare mein right individual ke bare mein yeah. ki kitna concern hai logo ke bare mein and it's not only about him it's all about others bahut time conversations ho gaye it's all about player in terms of, so very rarely have you see him giving press conferences very yeah. rarely agar zarurat hai to wo deta hai nahi to wo jayega nahi you know always likes yeah. players to take it so ek ek nature hai uska wo that you can see aur main i am not too surprised itne saalon se main uska inter mein tha 2015 se mera interaction tha rahul ke sath hmm. jab humne ne uh, under 19 se ek sath kaam karna chalu kiya so i know Jee. wo kaise kaise banda hai kya player hai kya sochta hai kis tarah se usko soch hai aur wo darshata hai jis tarah se uska nature hai hmm. i think wohi darshata hai is very simple guy down to earth hai hmm. उसे कोई ऐड नहीं है कि इतना क्रिकेट खेला है लेजेंड है गेम का पर वो वो उसके उसके बातचीत में कभी नहीं आएगा उसके जिस तरह से आपसे वो ग्राउंड पे बिहेव करता है प्लेयर के साथ बिहेव करता है वो कभी नहीं लगेगा अगर वो प्लेयर जैसे यशस्वी जयसवाल टीम में नया आता है या बिश्नोई नया आया वो ऐसे ही है उसके साथ और आप विराट के साथ भी वैसे ही है सो वो बंदे के बारे में ये वैसा है बहुत सिंपल है 
और आई एम नॉट टू सरप्राइज जैसे उन्होंने जैसे बोला कि मैं यू नो इट्स ग्रेट आई थिंक आप एक छूट हम हम बोलते हैं कि यू नो अरे नहीं ऐसा क्या ठीक है पर आप जिस तरह से एक तो वो सोचना एक सोच आना खुद के बारे में कि वो वो भी बड़ी बात है पर स्पेशली एक अमाउंट जैसे जो आप बात कर रहे हो वो वो अमाउंट भी बहुत ऐसी छोटी नहीं है कि वो छोड़ सकते हैं वो दर्शाता है इंडिविजुअल के बारे में दर्शाता है और क्या बोल सकते हो उसके बारे में ट्रू ट्रू ओके सर यू नो इट इट वुड बी रॉन्ग टू फ्लोट नेम्स राइट नाउ बट हु सो एवर टेक्स द बैटन इन द बोलिंग कोच डिपार्टमेंट वन पीस ऑफ एडवाइस फ्रॉम यू to whosoever takes that responsibility in the larger picture yeah. the team also so so i think yeah mm. that that would be my that's what i did try try especially i try to do it but yeah yeah, yeah. okay lastly would you be interested in uh, taking up an, uh, a role in any of the ipl franchises or any ipl franchise you would love to join i would right now uh, you know i say i've been on on the road for last two decades more than two decades you know just being to yeah. now being out of the house doing runji trophies around travel and i've been out of the house so so right yeah. now just currently just want to be home spend time with my family my son mm. is the teenager now spend little more time with him he's got into cricket a little bit so okay that's another headache in that home my wife mm-hmm. says yaar ek hua dusra aaya waisa kind of thing going on so just want to spend time with them at home and especially son and yeah. but yeah you will see me kahi na kahi aap dekhoge ipl mm. i've not decided on any of the franchise koi bhi yeah. but yeah the discussion going on kahi na kahi you will see because i want to be involved i like being involved on the ground and to yeah. kahi na kahi you will see me on the ground i think i enjoy mm. that uh, you know ipl franchise cricket is i've been part of a franchise i've been part of mi for mm. a long time so i've been part of it yeah. so it's a different challenge all together uh, uh, and definitely want to experience that again so you will see me but uh, nothing formalized yet yeah. Okay. Okay. Your son is a bowler or a batter or an all-rounder? I'm I'm trying to make him prepare and get him into all-rounder. I said don't don't get batter okay. bowler. Because all-rounder is an expensive commodity. Okay. Fast bowling all-rounder or what? <laughs> fast bowling all-rounder. Spinner all-rounder. Oh, nice. like fast bowling all-rounder. I said boss, you're going to be all-rounder or not? Pitaji ne bahut maar khaya. Toh koi to chahiye na family mein maarne ke liye dusra bowler. True. 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 Waisa hai. Yeah. Yeah. But but you know it's it it was great talking to you sir. uh it was it has been lovely watching your team perform that way is you know i i just feel ki koi team agar semi final finals pahunch rahi hai to wo utna hi acha kar rahi hai jitna ek jeetne wali team ne kiya this is this has been my personal opinion for any of the teams so the right. indian team has done really well under you under under rahul sir under vikram sir we just hope the the baton goes on